This video is meant to serve as a guide for how to sign up for Veteran Readiness and Employment Benefits, also known as Chapter 31 Benefits, using the VA website. First, we'll talk about what vr &E is. It offers various types of assistance, such as evaluations and counseling to help determine abilities and interests for employment, employment services such as job training and resume development, help finding and keeping a job, including the use of special employer incentives and job accommodations, on-the-job training, apprenticeships, and non-paid work experiences, post-secondary education, such as college, vocational, or technical schools, supportive rehabilitation services, including case management, counseling, and medical referrals, and even independent living services. The requirements for eligibility differ between veterans and active duty service members. For veterans, you have to receive something other than a dishonorable discharge and have a service-connected disability rating of at least 10% as well as being within 12 years of your discharge date. For active duty service members, you have a 20% or higher pre-discharge disability rating and will soon leave the military, or you're waiting to be discharged because of a severe illness or injury that occurred while you were on active duty. To start, we'll go to a Google or other internet search and look up va.gov. We'll click on that first link, which will take us to the VA's homepage. We don't have to sign in. We're first going to scroll down to Explore VA Benefits and Healthcare and click on Education and Training. Here we'll scroll down again to Get GI Bill and Other Education Benefits and find the link that says Veteran Readiness and Employment. Go ahead and click that, and this will take us to the VRNE's homepage. This gives you all the information you will need to know. For now, we're just going to apply online. This will ask you some questions to make sure you're eligible for the program. First, which of these describe you, whether you're a veteran, current service member, or neither. Did you receive a dishonorable discharge or not? And whether you have a service-connected disability rating of 10% or higher or not. At this point, if you haven't already, it will make you sign in to the VA's site. You can use one of these four methods to do so or make an account if you need to. And then we'll start your application. This will tell you the information you want to have on hand before you begin. Click Apply, Veteran Readiness and Employment. and This will start your paperwork. It'll auto-populate some personal information about you, such as name, date of birth, address, and contact info, such as phone numbers and email addresses. At this point, if something is not auto-populated, go ahead and fill it out. Or if you need to make any changes at this point, now is the time to do so. It'll ask you what your highest level of education is and whether or not you plan on moving within the next 30 days. Finally, it'll ask how you would like to be communicated with this program. First, whether it's the EVA or telecounseling, I'm going to go ahead and click yes for both of these. And it'll ask you what time you would like to meet with your counselor. Click continue, and it'll, you'll finally review your application. You'll want to click each of these drop down menus to verify the information is correct, and then read and accept the privacy policy. Once you have done this, you'll click submit your application. Finally, you'll wait for a response. This may take up to four weeks from the VA to process your package. You'll look for an email from the VA to reach out to you and schedule your appointment with your counselor. When you do meet your counselor, you'll come prepared with any paperwork requested prior to the appointment. This meeting is when the VRNE counselor will approve your plan. It is very important that you are able to make this appointment as rescheduling can often take several weeks to months. And when time is a factor, this is a problem. Once you've had your appointment and been accepted, you'll prepare for classes. You'll meet with your academic advisor and register for classes based on the approved program from your vr &E counselor. Before the classes start, you'll be certified by your school's certifying official. Your vr &E counselor will send the funding authorization letters to the school. Finally, all that's left is to start your classes. Good luck. Semper Fi.